I'm almost there. You know me, I'll be fine. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? Hmm. What the? I love the creepy atmosphere in this video game. Don't shoot! Get down! Nice callback. I love uh, Claire's redesign in this. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Nice. We're going to be using our infinite ammo weapons for this playthrough. But overall, I love the design and the nods to the original game while also changing just enough to make it a completely different experience. So this... There's a cemetery, other side of the police station. Leon, I'm sure you beat me here. You may recognize this place in Resident Evil 3's remake, where uh, Carlos and his friend were here. We're gonna need bolt cutters to get through the chains there. Usually, this is where Leon gets his uh, uniform. Wow, Claire got here really fast, considering how much time it took in the other playthrough to get here. Hey! Leon? Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Claire! It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. There, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're going to find him. Damn it. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. Now it's a party. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. There, you need to go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. We're going to try to conserve our ammo for now. Ooh, she got close. Okay, we're going to go down here. Now, I love the gun here and then the Magnum. Those are really good weapons, but uh, we're going to use the infinite weapons. Just don't have to worry about bullets, and it can be fun. But this gun here is like, yeah, the quick draw is awesome. Usually I get the ammo, but up. Uh, we're gonna put those down for now. We're gonna get the Samurai Edge knife for close combat, and uh, for right now, this. We could get the rocket launcher, but we'll get it in a bit. But that's Leon's uniform. Making sure. Ooh. Get 
Get back. It'll be faster with the infinite rocket launcher, but uh, just for regular bullet ammunition, we're just going to do this for now. Open this. And then we can discard this little item. I love the key animations here. It's so realistic. And for the puzzles, I've written them down for my last playthroughs just to move along. He still might be alive, but we'll take our chances. Okay, go in here. Weird, last time there was a zombie in here. Oh, he's over here. Oh, that's right. Okay. I made a mistake, guys. We're going to have to come back. That's why there was a zombie there, because he walked. Um, there is a circuit breaker we have to get here. Oh, there's the police officer we saw in the last playthrough. Maybe I'll get the rocket launcher right now while we're at it. I forgot we have to go to uh, this room here, where we get like the second circuit breaker to open this, but it's uh, here right now, at the beginning of this B scenario. Oh, we're not going to have room. That's okay. We're going to get a hip pouch once we're in the lobby, then I'll switch. Okay. Sorry about that little detour, guys. I forgot about that. Because usually I do that first, and then that other zombie that we just killed in here is usually in the office waiting for me. I would just ignore him, but, uh, yeah. Okay. Now we can give this little thing some power. Nice. Okay. Should be a hip pouch. Yep. But no item box. Interesting. He's not part of the rescue squad. Marvin. Oh man, I shot Marvin in the face. Kudos for anyone out there that got that movie reference. Okay, the lion statue. Now, usually there's like a missing page, and then we find the journalist, uh, the little uh, journal page is like torn. One of these is like in a photograph. I think this is like a crown. Let me look. Lion statue, a crown flame flying bird. Okay, I knew. I always get superstitious about a zombie just coming up behind me while I'm trying to like figure out the puzzle. This will help move things along, and then we can put our first medallion on the shortcut. Ah, he's still alive. I knew it. Okay, that was a total miss. There we go. So that's our first one. Next, we're going to go through this hallway. Oh, shit. And I think there's a lecker. Okay, we could try it with this. What was that? No lecker? 
Oh crap. Okay, that caused some damage, guys. Usually I just hit it with a rocket launcher. Well, before I had bullets. Even though this is a machine gun, I think the quick draw army weapon has a bit more of a kick, so to speak. Okay, so then we're gonna go here. Luckily for us, we're gonna have another hip pouch. Oh, but before we do that, and we can get rid of this. I really wish I had a herb. Oh, crud. There's gonna be another one of those things. Okay. Luckily, this is still going to be nine fifteen. Uh, not I mean nine fifteen seven. Uh, it'd be crazy. It's like it's gone because Leon or Carlos in the next one took it. <laughs> that would be crazy if it remembered your decisions on like this game and affected things in the next. Now we're going to definitely have enough uh, for the rocket launcher. Okay. Wish there was a herb. I should have taken a first aid. We okay, we're going to have some trouble here in a minute. Sure. I think there's a liquor here somewhere. We just need to get to that other room and we'll be fine. We're gonna get this. We're gonna use that. Uh yeah, and then um, let's get let's go ahead and get the rocket launcher. We'll have some fun. Okay, uh, yeah, health and recovery definitely. Uh, short. Okay, no shortcut. Put that there. Okay, let's even the odds. Then we're gonna do this, and then. Making sure. Okay. We're definitely gonna need uh, this. There's a liquor. I think, or maybe I'm thinking of Leon's. Actually, let's see if there's a grenade somewhere. No? Okay. We're going to get the battery for the detonator. Put that here. Awesome. Then there should be a first aid spray somewhere. Should have kept the herb. There's a red one there. It could have full health. That's okay. This will do the same. There should be a letter from Leon here. Your brother's not here. He's on vacation. Now, if you play the Claire A scenario... Marvin actually tells her it's like Redfield's on vacation. That's technically the canon scenario you're supposed to play is Claire A, Leon B. I like Leon A and Claire B. 
I like both. I finally played Leon B uh, the other day. It's a cool ending. I like Claire, but I really love Claire killing the main monster at the end. You know, the one... There's something about her. She's a bit tougher. Oh, shit. Did you hear that, guys? It's Mr. X. X gonna give it to you. It's like that DMX song. I'm in Cradle to the Grave. Good movie with him and Jet Li, by the way. While we're at it, actually. Take care of him. The maiden. Ram Harp Bird. Let's get it real quick. Mr. X is going to be scary. Okay, this is the second medallion out of three. Mr. X might be here. Okay, better move it. Okay. The third medallion is through that door, so... Next is the unicorn, so I have that written down as well. Unicorn, and this is twin scale warm. So not the snake, but the little warm. Twins... Scales... A little warm. That is all the medallions. Now, usually there is uh, the book that goes in the statue to get the little cipher red jewel. I'm not going to do that because I don't need it with the infinite weapons. But usually that gets you the little USB dongle badge. Let's get out of here. I meant to unlock that door so I don't need the key. Oh well. I could technically do that real quick so I don't have to carry it. Okay, we're going to unlock the waiting room door and then we're going to unlock the office. I meant to do that early. I'd rather do that so I don't I don't need this key anymore. I can take it out of my inventory. I don't have to worry. I don't think I need to go through here, but sometimes I do. Oh, I don't need it for that? Oh, no, I do need it. It's this door. That's right. Well, we'll get a, a herb in its place anyway. So that's door one. We'll go back to door two. I should have got the red herb. And combined it, but um, Mr. X is not going to be far behind, unfortunately. Shit, he sounds close. Where is he? There he is. Jesus, stay back! I'll just take care of him up here. Much better with the missile launcher. We're going to open this and uh, put the last medallion. I don't think we, yeah we don't need that so we can take that out of our inventory and we'll have some free space okay awesome we got the medallion portion of this video game done everything's still going well in the stream good yeah, get used to this okay let's get out of here it's like Mr. X follows you that would suck okay overall this isn't too bad here okay yeah if you had the badge usb dongle you can just put the badge and get some weapon parts down there but uh we're not going to do that we are however about to fight our first boss Hello? this time Hello? that's sherry's footsteps instead of her dad's and this has an orphanage sequence that i think is more terrifying than any zombies or monsters Man, my ear is itching. Won't budge. Okay. 
Hello? Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? He's right behind you. What? That worked. Much easier. It's not that hard of a boss though, you have to run around and get the items, but still, these infinite weapons you unlock make it a lot easier. Worth all the trouble getting them too. Mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. Yeah. Let's go. of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? key card. Here, come out. And you're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. 
brave little girl to leave your house in the middle of this mess? On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. Sherry, tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. Okay, then. You tie her up now, or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment, for starters. Sherry, come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck her. Sherry, get over here. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's full of shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously, nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, or yes, we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Stay safe, Sherry. It's crazy. Okay. Stephen King once said Take that, like, first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. That sometimes, like, humanity is more horrifying than like monsters, from. and that's definitely one case where this guy's probably like the most terrifying part of this game, uh, besides Mr. X, I think. We need the diamond key, so we're gonna get a rocket launcher because there's gonna be some liquors instead of zombie dogs. There's a shotgun in that trunk, but do I really need it? We don't need a shotgun with infinite. I love a shotgun, though. It's easy on zombie heads, that's for sure. Oh, it got me. Darn. Luckily, we have... We're gonna get another herb. We'll be okay. Uh, I'm gonna put my earphones back on just a little. Okay. We'll be okay. There's another herb. Is there? Actually, there might not be. I might have to rethink that. There's a red herb. Darn it. That's okay. We'll be fine. I need the diamond key. Awesome. Now we can go back. You know what? Let's get the red herb. So we can find a green one and then just combine it and get full health without having to use a first aid. I love using first aid, but I really only use first aid spray when it's absolutely necessary like like an emergency that's the only time I use a first aid kit there's one more things are nasty man the liquors are pretty much like the equivalent to like the xenomorphs from aliens in resident evil okay now we're on to the clock puzzle this is actually my least favorite part of the game it's not bad it's just it's very tedious like it's just you have to do that and fight mr x and go back and forth and i'm just like oh, i'm tired it gets really fun afterwards on Claire's scenario, the last, like, really, I would say, intense part is at Orphanage. That's a stock. 
I don't know if you can still hear me on the microphone, but I'm going to take this earphone off. It's bothering me for some reason today. Uh, I'm going to take this off, kind of stay silent a little bit, but if you can hear me, good. If not, I'm sorry. Overall, uh, yeah. Just getting to me. Awesome. A green herb. Go ahead and use that. Next, we need the heart key, which is in the photo frame in this area here. We also have the parking permit that's locked up. Thank God. The key card. Awesome. Here we go. Yeah, if we had the diamond, we'll go down there into the interrogation room and get it, but, uh, decide not to do that. So here, let's get the other part and the clock gear. Aw, oh, crap! Motherfucker. That pissed me off. That's never happened to me. Not even on hardcore. Okay. Son of a bitch. Actually, that might come in handy. Luckily for us, I think there's a green herb on the stairs. Okay. Okay, so all we need is that, and then one more panel part. So make sure you're dead, pal. Then we're gonna meet Mr. X one more time. This is gonna be... This is gonna be interesting. Okay. I should have saved. That's okay. Oh no, it's Mr. X. Oh no. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. that actually. Should have got the red herb and then I could have combined it. Oh well. I 
actually. We unlock this, right? Just go through here. Hopefully there's not a lecker there. Did I get it? I don't know if I did, but uh yeah, we're gonna just stick with that. <laughs> to discard that. We'll just discard this. Just double checking. Then there's going to be another zombie here. No? That surprises me. Okay. Next up, we're going to go up. Go back to the library. That's where we're going to use this little... Shit, where is he at? He sounds really close. I do not like the sound of that at all. God, Mr. X terrifies me even more than Nemesis. I've had enough of you, Licker. sounds close. He sounds really close. Where the heck is he? Okay. Well, hit this here. down? Okay, cool. Let's try to get through this as fast as possible. Gosh, I hate this. And this kind of sucks with regular ammo, to be honest. It's not too bad once you get Mr. X. It's a matter of running, taking him down some way. Come on! Come on. Come on. Ooh. Most difficult part for this is over. Next is the orphanage. This is a little bit stressful. If you don't do it right. It's all about timing. And patience. And then uh, the game's actually kind of fun after that. Okay. First, we're gonna put the big clock gear here. We have the stairs come down. And once we do that, then we can take it back. Do 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 and uh, solve this little clock puzzle. That's going to bring us a lot of space now. Go back down, put the small gear there. I don't know if it's like me, but like the f one of the first times I played this, Mr. X actually followed me in here for some reason. I don't know if that was a glitch or what. It's quite scary, actually. Not what I wanted, but okay. Just be easier to open up right now than later. Yeah. 
Usually you can see Mr. X either up here or down there. Huh. Let's go back down. Let's get out of here. I had enough of Mr. X. Okay. Time to solve this little puzzle. There we go. That's what I was missing. Time for the orphanage. Hello? Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her. Stupid kid. If you just hadn't dropped that fucking thing, I could let you go. Don't worry, Sherry. It'll be all over soon. There has to be a way out of here. You know, I know there's zombies, but, like, this is probably, like, the most terrifying part of the game for me. Just this little kid dealing with this, like, horrible man. It's real, I mean, like, I mean, zombies could be a possibility with, like, a virus, but, like, this is, like, real, real life. Okay. Awesome. Okay, let's get out of here. Ooh. 
Ooh. This is probably the most nerve-wracking part for me. Just so stressful running away from that guy without any weapons, you know? Playing a kid. This is a really horrifying sequence. Can't be that simple. Darn it! I need the key. The part here coming up with the axe kind of reminds me a little bit of The Shining. Take these earphones off again. But uh, let me know if you can hear me. If not, I apologize. I'm just gonna take them off right now. They're really irritating me today. I did a couple of streams earlier and recorded some stuff, so I've used them for quite a while. Holy cow. Where you going, Sherry? I told you to stay put. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone. Just please. Time to teach some manners. Ah! Ah! You little bitch! You're gonna pay for this! Ah, you little shit! You hear? Run, little girl, run! You are gonna be so fucking sorry! Stupid bitch, that's a dead end! Ooh, hard part's done. Let's get the keys. Good, now let's get the heck out of here. Run, run. 
fuck is my key? I see. God, this is like The Shining or something. Like this is just horrifying. What kind of fat bastard would harm a kid, you know? God, I hate this guy. I wish Claire could kick his ass. Even better, Leon. I'm coming, Sherry. Oh my god. Here's Johnny. Totally reminds me of The Shining. Some Jack Nicholson vibes right here. It's okay, her dad's about to rescue her. For the second half of this, I went ahead and got me a drink. So, cheers. I'm going to have me a drink in a minute. Good to see you again, Claire. We've got unfinished business. What are you talking about? Don't waste my fucking time. Bring me the pendant or Sherry dies. Pendant? What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Is Sherry all right? For now. I swear you bastard, if you hurt her... Are you serious? Damn it! Just you wait, asshole. Had enough of you, Mr. X. like the only way forward. No. 
Wouldn't it be crazy if the car blew up too? Sherry. Hello? I have the pendant! Ah. Your fault! What? It took too long! What Ooh. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's some alien stuff right there. Sherry. Sherry. Sherry's fine. Do you know Sherry? It's an impressive display of strength. What happened to her? We have to assess the situation. Who are you? I'm Claire. I didn't foresee this. Excuse me. Where is she? Hello? What? Oh, Annette, tell me, what happened to William? I don't know. Who is who's that? The creature responsible for this. What? Can you help me find Sherry? It seems to be evolving much faster than expected. 
Where are you going? Look, I don't have time to play 20 questions. Everything's under control. I need to find Sherry. My daughter is not your concern. Wow. Mother of the year. Where did Sherry go? Sherry? Can you hear me? Now I'm going to smell like shit. <laughs> Go over here. We're gonna find the chess pieces. Rescue Sherry. Have another boss battle, and then cable car here. I'm gonna take that little cable car to the nest. <sighs> we can combine this. Okay, we're almost to the home stretch. Almost. We have this puzzle, another boss battle, then the nest. There's still quite a bit of stuff to do at the nest, but it's pretty easy. With these weapons, at least. Okay. spark plug weapon <sighs> examining it because it'd be easier to identify once we go to the puzzle portion I'm going to see if this takes any ammo, just for fun. Does take ammo. That's okay, we're going to get a hip pouch, so last piece should be okay. Actually, maybe we'll save it on some other zombies. One more chess piece and then we're done with this puzzle. 
overall for those who are watching either live or during playback thank you for bearing with me kind of feeling a little bit under the weather right now i don't know i didn't have enough to eat today but also uh dealing with sinus anyway this isn't my best playthrough as claire tonight but i think it's because it's like late for me it's like almost midnight i usually do better in the evening or like early morning <laughs> Plus, it's been a while since I played Claire's scenario. I mean, I, I played it recently, but I don't play it as much as Leon's. They're both fairly fast with the infinite weapons, though. This took me about four and a half to five hours with red glare ammunition and everything, and with this, it's like almost two, two hours, two and a half hours. Now usually with a crank you can go back up and get collectibles and stuff. But uh, for right now... Awesome. Okay, back to infinite rocket launcher. We'll examine this. And then we're going to store a lot of stuff when we go back. I just want to see how the spark plug was. Oh yeah, this roll of film again is a collectible. If you go to the room where, uh, by the window down the staircase in the Raccoon City Police Department, develop it. It's one of the two secrets. God, bugs are so disgusting down here. This is not the most appealing part of the game here, but luckily the nest is going to be creepy, yet futuristic looking. Okay. Well, let's go. Actually, that might not be a bad thing to get. Then I also wrote down the chess puzzle arrangement because again it's different from Leon's which I like because he thought it was going to be simple playing as one or the other and it's like no you change stuff still so you have to discover things for yourself Leon of course in that little room got the flamethrower where this is a spark plug but um I do have an idea we're going to get rid of this we're going to get rid of that we're going to get rid of that I don't know if that's a good idea to get rid of that or not. We're gonna get the minigun. Okay, we're gonna have some fun now. Okay, so... That's Pawn. The other one was King-Queen. Let me see this arrangement. It might not be the same. For the B scenario, I wrote down... Pawn Rook Knight. Okay. The other one's probably Bishop, Queen, King. I don't know. Let's look. Queen, Bishop, King. Awesome. After that, we just have to worry about the lab codes, which, again, you can find 
fairly easy. I just wrote it down to save some time rather than going back and forth. Actually, we're gonna mix this one. No, I don't really need it. Then there's gonna be a red herb in that office, hopefully, where the generator's at. Then another boss fight. The parade. Yep. So, just in case we get accidentally scratched. It shouldn't happen, but just in case. Okay. Nope. There we go. Knew it was one of them. Let's go. Uh oh. Shit! Here we go. Come on, come on. I knew that was gonna happen, damn it. This minigun's too heavy. Actually, we're at it. Should have known you wouldn't die. Yeah, I know, right? Usually I shoot him and then go, but uh I should have did it when he was like right out of the door. Plus this gun doesn't help. There we go. That was quick. Much faster. Usually with bullets, you have to either damage him enough and then do it, or have to go around with the crate twice because he pushes it back. Sometimes it's more than that, depending. Usually it's twice. Okay, let's go rescue Sherry. I'm so but sorry, Sherry. We're in the home stretch, it's everyone. Forever. Yeah, it is taking forever. The rocket launcher just disappeared. Okay, let's go. Save Sherry. I'll do this because it looks better. Okay. lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. Goodbye. Are you fucking kidding me? Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Why are you doing this? Because I care. Thank you, Claire. Again, mother of the year. <laughs> oh wait, we just came back from there. Okay, up the stairs. That said, her lab's not far. 
Wait. That cable car. This is gonna be fun now. Hold on, Sherry. You're gonna be fine. Almost there, Sherry. We're almost there. Oh, good. A cable car. Cheers. Be just fine. Poor Sherry. Okay, better check everything. There's no turning back. No turning back. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Stream still going. Cool. fine without me, so I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's just for my mom. For my birthday last year. All I really wanted was for her to be home more. I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but uh, hey, uh, Sherry, come uh, here. Uh, 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 hey, hang in there, okay? Now arriving at next. Uh, uh, it's okay. I've got you. Come on. Getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. Just realized Sherry has Claire's jacket. I like Claire here. She reminds me of Sarah Connor from Terminator 2. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. Love the design of this nest. Okay. Um. There you go. All right. Now what? Um. Huh. There's got to be something here. Antiviral agent. That's it. That's got to be it. Hmm. Hey. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. You stay right here, though, okay? I'll be back soon. I promise. There we go. Readjusted the earphones and microphone. Okay. Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah, there's a shotgun there, but we're not gonna need it. Let's get ready. Home stretch, everyone. 
Yeah, I was gonna use regular ammunition, but let's just have some fun. Starting with you, starting with you, and you, and you, and oh yeah, you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I love this video game. Good story, good length, enough puzzles. This is how a remake should be done, and they didn't give you half a game like, say, Final Fantasy. Even though that was more of like a complete reimagining in the way of like Star Trek 2009. This one had enough from the original, some familiar places and items and story events, while also doing something completely different. Okay. We got a blue. Now we can go through blue doors. Next we have to get the purple wristband. Okay. Nice, there's a save area and item box Dr. in there, Levy, but your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East area. There's also uh, a file on the expo board in there. That's one of the files I missed for Claire. So, the and then Leon, of course, is like the Leon B uh, scenario files. Get all the files trophy. I love this. You get to see a little bit of it in three with the nest. So cool, the design, so futuristic. I love the third person Resident Evils. Like, Seven was a cool new type of horror survival game, but like, this is like old school Resident Evil, but having more, I guess, 3D fluidity compared to the over the shoulder or the fixed camera angles. I would love to see like a Resident Evil 1 game like this. And there's rumors of a Resident Evil 4 remake. I have to see how this is going to be because that's one of my favorites besides two. Basically, all the ones with Leon hang. <laughs> Maybe they'll do Code Veronica. That'd be cool with this Claire, I think. Okay, there's a herb. We don't need that. Damn. God. That's terrible. Yep. This is like Poison Ivy's lab or something from Batman. Those things are nasty. Luckily, we have a missile launcher, so instead of just shooting the little pods like the last Plagas, we'll just do that. I'll take a grenade, why not? Uh, I wrote down the codes, because there's different codes. This will go much faster than going back and forth, and they change the location of the trophy, too. Uh, there's like a little trophy with one of the past codes. It's one code. There we go. Now, I also wrote down, this took me a while to figure out, so this I actually researched, uh, the disperse, uh, the dispense thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Went ahead one step, we have to get this, the little cartridge thing to dispense. Dispensing solution now. Anyway, usually it's just like... On this one, it's blue, red, green, red, blue, green, blue, red, green. The other one's like red, green, blue, red, green, blue, red, green. And that's pretty easy to remember once you figure it out. That took a lot of tries for me the first time because I got this one. The game came out. It like came out right before my birthday, so my parents bought it for me. They knew how much of a fan I was of Resident Evil. And the second one my brother used to have, and we used to play it, like, all the time. He was, like, 20, or in his early 20s, I was, like, 6 or 7. So, yeah, this game had an effect on me. It scared the crap out of me. Okay, so blue, red, green, red, blue, red. Blue. Green. Blue. Red, green. Let's hope that's right. I think I wrote it down. It's 
all the puzzles we wrote down. Yeah, now it's going to be fun. That took forever, by the way, before finding that out. I was just, like, getting aggravated. I'm like, try to match. Either be too much or too little. Okay. That took me forever to figure out to go to the cryogenic lab. Okay. Even though it's, like, plant-like... Kind of reminds me of Poison Ivy and Batman. Some part of this reminds me a little bit of Jurassic Park. Could you imagine like a survival horror Jurassic Park game like this with dinosaurs? Should be the basis for Dino Crisis. Really should. Okay. Next. Okay, so that one is O oh, Earth. Okay. U R F. I like this little puzzle. We have to just get the signals right. There we go. Now we can put it on there. Yeah, Leon, he had to go up the staircase and then get it. There's going to be some liquors here, though. That one snuck up. Usually it's over here. Luckily, I stood still. Yeah, usually you get the passcode on this trophy. It's on the bottom. Welcome back, Doctor. You have five new messages. Lee. Ooh. Damn. Yep, it's cold. Like this little robotic thing. Overall, this is a fun game, and I platinum this this year. I actually had most of the trophies, but I did it after Resident Evil 3, and I platinum that first, and I was like, you know what, I want to platinum RE2. I just needed the files and then to beat it on hardcore mode. And then it got really fun once I beat it on hardcore mode. I had to do that and then Four Survivor was crazy. There was a good guide on YouTube that showed you how to do it with like no damage, minimal damage. I still got hurt, but it helped. And my hands were shaking. Like that was just, ugh. And then the item box trophy was hard, but I did that on assisted because I like hoarding stuff and pitting in the items so if I have regular ammunition. Because right now it's the infinite ammo, so I don't have to worry about that, but I like combining items and, like, just stocking up, so then when you're, like, towards the end of a video game with a boss, you just go to town and just get everything you basically saved up. And that's part of the joy of a survival horror video game, really. Get out of my way. Okay. Then we can go over here. This will be one of those plant little pod things. Now we can dispense this and get that, and then... I don't think Mr. X should be arriving. That's a good thing. So on Leon's, Mr. X busts out of the window. This should go by pretty fast. Okay. Stream going good? Yeah. Checking my computer to make sure the stream's still Dispensing going. Solution now. I have a lot of allergies and sinus, so like on my ears, it's just like pressure just today of course i live in the south so it's like a hundred degree weather right now this sucks good thing there's a pandemic only because you get to stay inside but like god this year has been so horrible and it's crazy because it's almost like resident evil come to life but without the zombies you know i hope everybody out there if you're watching i hope you're staying safe and healthy during this time it's some hard times right now, and I know my plans, as much as others, had to be put on hold. But, on the bright side, I've... Oh! Ugh. Eat that. Wow. That would have been better with just a gun and then shooting the little flashbang grenade, but anyway. But yeah, like... It's really been a time for reflection and then trying to 
improve things that you normally wouldn't have time for. So I've done a lot of writing and stuff. I wanted to make a short film. I actually want to make a feature film, but I want to do some short films, like really high quality short films before I do that. But uh, other than that, it's given me some time to revisit some video games and start the Twitch channel back again and, and work on more YouTube channels because I wasn't going to make any more YouTube videos. So, it's been good in that regard. But I can't even imagine something like Resident Evil coming to life. Uh -huh. Anyway, these are great games, and Capcom really returned to form, I think, with 7, and then this one. And Resident Evil 3 isn't, like, the best Resident Evil ever, as far as, like, how the original was, but, like, uh, I like it. It was fun. Like, this is more story-driven. Like, it's definitely good playing after 2. Like, this one's more story-based and stuff. I love how 3 is before this, during this, and after this, and it's... I guess it's more like a DLC, but not really. If you spend more time, it has a higher replayability factor. I love how you unlock the weapons. Love this. It would be cool though if Jill and Leon were in a game. They need to do something like Resident Evil 6, but instead of just overlapping, like it's all the characters together, you get to play them. That would be sweet. I love the design of this room, how futuristic that looks. It's freaky. should have killed him while I had the chance. I don't know why, I just... I couldn't do it. He was your husband. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. What about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with the G-Virus in it. But that's no excuse. <laughs> This boss fight is going to be a lot shorter with this rocket launcher. I love both scenarios. I just wish they made it just different enough to where it's like the original where it's completely different perspectives because both Leon and Claire are pretty similar as far as boss fights and everything with minor differences. Ooh. Need to bust a zit. Try some clear a cell. <laughs> That'd be horrible. <laughs> okay. Gotta get back to Sherry.
I love the design of this video game, the attention to detail is just beautiful. Like, it's supposed to be a horrific place, the nest, but I just love the way this looks. Let's go back to the restroom. The little waiting area. It's a nap room, I think. We have to get back to Sherry, and there's going to be a touching scene before all hell breaks loose on this conclusion. I always enjoy the ending on both Leon and Claire scenarios. It's so fun. about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. <laughs> Sherry, can you walk faster? I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. That was a sad moment, but we're getting to the home stretch. Things still going good. Okay, cool. I love this view here. Wouldn't be Resident Evil without escaping self destruction at the end, fighting some bosses. Thank you for being so nice to me. For helping me. 
I'm really glad I met you. I'm really glad I met you too, Sherry. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. Sherry is a cool character in the original, but it's even cooler seeing this again after seeing where Sherry is by the time Resident Evil 6 arrives. Okay, time to leave. Actually. So much easier with this. Okay. Explosive finale. Again, on Leon, Mr. X arrived there in this one. Sherry's gonna have to open the door while we face off against those little plant pod of things. Stupid things locked. Hold on. Sherry, what are you? I think I can open it from the other side. Stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Be careful. Always. Usually, if we don't have the infinite ammo and unlockables, usually this is where we get the minigun for the final boss, boss battle. But, uh, since we already have it, we don't need that. And ours has infinite ammo, so that's a plus. Okay. I love this final boss battle. It's very different from the Mr. X boss battle that Leon goes through. And we get to see the true ending in the B scenario. What? Leon? You're down here too? Yeah. But the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out. Fast. I know. I found a way out. I think I think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Leon, Leon. Damn. Okay. Boss battle time. One of them, at least. Part one of the boss battle.
things ugly. For some reason, I want to watch Blade. I don't know why that reminded me of Blade. Little serum explosion scenes at the end of the first one. Random thought, I know. Love this ending. Claire! It's okay. I'm here. We're getting out of here. saw in the last playthrough, Leon made his way to the train, so here's where that scenario left off. So what's the first thing you want to do when we get out of here? I want to see where you live. Who's this? This? This is Sherry. Okay. <laughs> Jesus! What was that? I don't know. You stay here with Sherry. I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, here we go. I'm saying. Love this part. Claire is awesome in this moment here. Claire! We gotta lose that car! Love that moment, just like the original RE2 on the PlayStation 1. This is such a perfect ending right here. It's a shame that the A scenario didn't show us the real ending, but I, I just love this ending. It's so perfect with Leon, Claire, and Sherry. And the contrast to it being a beautiful day after the horrific so night you just faced. Are you guys, like, boyfriend and girlfriend? No. We're just... Uh... Oh, we actually just met last night. <laughs> yeah. That would have been one hell of a first date, though. Yeah, you have no idea. Look! 
He might be able to give us a ride. What if it's not just the city? Get Sherry out of here. Come on. friendly <laughs> <sighs> so is it over I don't know but if it's not we'll stop it whatever it takes yeah you damn right we will as long as we stick together we'll be fine come on hey you guys can adopt me <laughs> adopt uh. <you>? <laughs> we can get a puppy a uh, puppy. And a parrot. Parrot. Great. I always wanted pets, but my mom said they're too messy. Huh. <sighs> Next up on this boring Wednesday is a song to get your blood pumping. Love that. Love the end credit song. Thank you all for watching, whether it's live or in playback. This was uh, not one of my best playthroughs, but it was enjoyable going through Claire B scenario. Uh, again, if you want to see more gaming content, follow me on Twitch at the Dark Knight of Steel. Go to my YouTube channels at the Dark Knight of Steel. You can also find me on YouTube at Frederick Lopez. That's where I have my movie reviews, top 10 rankings, vlogs. I talk about comics, films, television, and video games from time to time. And that's where I'm going to be having my uh, video game streams shortened up into something called Random Play. You can see my previous uh, video game uh, playthroughs there. And, uh, yeah, I love this song. Perfect ending. That is how you do a remake. Like, really is. Like, uh, let me get it. Let me, uh, this, RE2, that is how you do a remake. This is an awesome game. My favorite video game from last year in 2019. I, I love it. Perfect in every way. It honors the original while also building something on its own, like I said earlier. And yeah, if they do make RE4, I hope it's as good as this remake. But uh, thank you all for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. And yeah, let's see, S ranking. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>